Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. All right, in the uh, last episode, uh, we grabbed some more territories from Scotland, uh, grabbing Argyle and uh, uh, Man. And um, right now, uh, we're probably just going to kind of take it easy for a little while. I want to let my uh, vassal levy penalties uh, go away before I uh, initiate a new war. Um... Now, obviously, we're not going to be able to go to war against her again for ten years. Unless, of course, she dies. Um, so I'm kind of thinking about uh, maybe uh, grabbing one of these territories. Or maybe grabbing something from uh, Wessex down here. Um, actually, that reminds me. Who am I going to be marrying? Uh... Someone in France? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we could definitely go to war against uh, uh, Wessex then. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, unpause it, get back to it. Uh, we've got our uh, Chancellor down here trying to fabricate a claim. Um, otherwise, we're just kind of uh, going to be taking it easy. Uh, but I was thinking that uh, one thing that we could do, we could have a little bit of fun at. Um, we could go on a pilgrimage. Let's see. So... Uh, at peace, is not a commander, any held title is not occupied, is not a prisoner, has personal wealth of at least 36 gold, is older than 16, is healthy enough to travel. Sounds good. My prisoner, Duke Gwenwyn of Meath, is complaining about his dark cell in the dungeon, asking for more suitable accommodations. Uh, well, I'm just waiting for him to have enough money to uh, pay me off, so very well, I shall be merciful. He's only at 140. Uh, fantastic. What do you do? Okay, so let's go ahead and let's check our factions again. Um, it's at fourteen percent, so I guess that's okay. Uh, we got some uh, technology points. Let's see, what are we gonna gain? Ah, economy. Nice. Uh, I don't have enough to spend on anything right now uh, worthwhile, so I'm going to hold on to those points. And, um, yeah, let's go ahead and go on a pilgrimage. Lose 36 gold, but that's fine. There we go. I shall go on a pilgrimage to seek God's grace at one of the holy places of Christianity. I will start making travel plans. I gain 20 piety. All right, this will end up costing me some money, but uh, it could be fun. It's a brand new event chain, so uh, let's explore it a little bit. <clears throat> there are a number of different holy places that you could visit on your pilgrimage. All of them are considered most sacred by the Holy Church, but a somewhat closer destination might mean a safer journey. So I could visit a holy site in the west, or I will go to one of the ancient sites, Jerusalem or Rome. Uh, for now, let's go to one of the holy sites in the West. A pilgrimage in the West is just as worthy as a journey to Jerusalem or Rome. I will visit the tomb of St. James in Santi Santiago. Actually, that's an interesting question. Let's see. Um, yep, that's Santiago. Okay. I wonder why it didn't give me an option to go to Kent here, or, uh, Colm. I'm not sure. Oh, well. Let's see what happens. Uh, you died. Who were you? You were the wife of Moray. Alright. That's okay, then. My leash, since I arrived in Gwyneth, there's never been a shortage of soldiers. Yay! Got levy reinforcements. Oh, uh, this is another thing that happened. Uh, now, if they just die when they're um, below, I think, age 50, um, and they weren't ill or anything like that, it's uh, died of poor health rather than uh, died of natural causes. Uh, when they're above age 50, then it'll flip back to natural causes. So no more 19-year-olds dying of natural causes. My things are packed. Everything is in order. I am ready to walk the way of St. James. My journey begins. 
Okay, and Duke Ald II of Regid has been appointed my regent while I am gone. So it makes a difference in some of the things that can happen. Well, let's see what uh, ends up happening on uh, on our pilgrimage. At your camp at night, a large group of fellow pilgrims appear. They have traveled far and are hungry and out of food. You look through your supplies, but you have only just over half a dozen loaves of bread and a few fishes. Mmm, bread. Uh, share it around. It's more filling than it looks. That'll cost me five gold. Sorry, there's not enough for everyone. I would lose the charitable trait. Oh, I don't want to lose the charitable trait. Let's share it around. It's only going to cost me five gold. I kinda wonder if, uh... Pagans get a pilgrimage, uh, event chain. Santiago, you have finally arrived at Santiago, the oldest major pilgrimage site in the West. It is an inland town close to the Atlantic Ocean, with origins going back at least to the Roman Empire. The fabled way of St. James is a long road to travel, and you have passed through many towns and villages on your way here. The legend holds that as St. James remains, were brought here by ship from Jerusalem. They were lost at sea due to a storm, but soon after they were mir soon after they were miraculously washed ashore, covered in scallops. Because of this, scallop shells have become a popular souvenir among pilgrims. Your mind dwells in the legend on the legends of this holy place as you make your way through the crowds towards the center of town. I must remember to bring, bring a seashell home with me. Not that I have anyone to bring a uh, uh, souvenir home for. The saints, this holy ground, how it all moves my soul. I realize now that all my life up to this point has only been a preparation for this journey. How wondrous that the light of the Lord truly shines on me, a poor sinner. From now on, I shall always do his work. Praise the Lord. I gain the zealous trade. Eh, that's okay. kind of would rather lose the... Uh, Craven trait, but uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, and I have the pilgrimage trait. You finally returned from your pilgrimage. It was a rewarding and interesting journey, and you'd do it all again if you could. Still, it's good to be back home. A great experience. I gained 30 piety. Alright, so not much happened. I did get uh, the, the zealous trait, but uh, it's not fantastic. That's okay, though. I'm not sure what uh, what other traits you can get. I'm pretty sure that you can get the charitable trait. Like, I probably would have gotten the charitable trait if I didn't have it and I'd shared out the, uh, um, my food. Uh, but since I'm a pilgrim, let's actually take a look and see how the Pope likes me now. Hey, Pope, how do you like me? Ooh, 65. Uh, church view on charitable. Church view on zealous. Uh, there's nothing for, uh, being a pilgrim, though. <laughs> the current Pope is slow. Will you give me any money? You won't, you're not going to give me any money, are you? Nope. Nope, you're not going to give me any money. Disappointing. That's okay. I don't expect him to do that. Oh, okay, and uh, our uh, uh, vassal levy penalties have gone away. Um, so let's see. Hey there, uh, Ulster. Which territory do you want to give up to me? Might go for Tyrone, just to split them up. Let's see, he has... A petty king of Gelray. Alright, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, declare war. Tyrone. Sure, why not? Hello! Let's move all of them up there. Move everyone up here. Okay, so he has 
Uh, that's a pretty large uh, army uh, unit right there. Let's have everyone move down here to Ossery. Actually, well... Should probably just uh, raise ships and send them over. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, get that. Get on that ship. You can get on that ship. You have no ships. Let's actually disband you. Raise you up here. I'm grabbing the... That's why I couldn't move it. I was grabbing the unit, not the uh, ship. Fantastic. You still have no ships down there. That is uh, rather annoying. Um, let's go ahead and uh, board you up there. Board up there. Move you there. faster to send these guys on the uh, ships instead. Alright. Let's get that one up there. Okay. Alright, the majority of uh, Norfolk has converted. Excellent. Alright, let's uh, let's see where else do we want to convert. Okay, so... Really, that's just going to be Chester there. Alright. There you go. Head over there to Chester. Wait for more of our ships to end up, uh... Getting down there. Ships and troops. Now, you, it looks like you are big enough now that you could probably head over here. What is the, uh... Oh, yeah, that's... That is plenty. Let's start chasing you. Merge them all together them all together. Get on the boats. Head over there. And head over there. You are heading over there. Let's get you over there as well. And you. And you. Any other ships that I missed? I don't think so. Well, that's an interesting flag. I don't think I've seen that one. Oh, that must be the uh, Joms Vikings. Interesting. Maybe. I don't know. Hard to tell. Oh, well. Why am I... Why am I finding out about that? I don't care about Thessalonica. Okay. Caswellon died a natural death. Uh, oh. Oh, hey, you can get out now. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, ransom you. Go ahead and get out. Thank you. All right, where are you going? You're going up to Tyrone. Thank you for paying your uh, way free. 
My liege, it is most unfortunate that you happen to hold a title that all agree should rightfully be mine, in order to lift this dark cloud from our relations. May I suggest adjustment? Uh, what does he want? Uh, he wants the Duchy of Mercia. Nope, reject diplomatically. That is one of the reasons why I like the diplomacy skill. Alright, let's head up there. Come on, slaughter him. Oh, where are you running? Where are you running? You're going to Tyrconnell? Are you going to beat me to Tyrconnell? You... You are not going to beat me to Tyrconnell. Nice. I like that. Merge those ships. Let's merge those units. Wait for this one to get in there. Come on. Come on. 18th. All right, that was a victory. Ooh, we slaughtered everyone. 73%? Oh, we're already at 100% because I captured the, uh... uh I captured King Deman of Ulster. Perfect. Well, hey. What's up? Want, want some, want peace? Thank you! <laughs> oh, that was nice and fast. Our vassal... Levies were not raised very long at all. Let's go ahead and get rid of these ships as well. Let's send this unit back down to Powys. Uh, let's see. You died of natural death. You had some kids, though. That's good. Let's see. I released him. Okay. So, oh, the nice thing is that uh, there isn't even a uh, penalty for levies or anything. How do you feel about uh, being uh, under under me now? You don't really care. You were content. Uh, we were both zealous. Uh, my state diplomacy. Oh yeah, you don't you you, you don't care at all. <laughs> Good news! Good news! I don't suppose that uh, you'd like me enough to uh, join me. No, no. Small difference in rank. Really? Really? I'm a freaking king. Of multiple kingdoms, even. So, next up, uh, Wessex here. Uh, once we get rid of these vassal levy penalties. Um, although I suppose I will offer him vassalization, although he really doesn't like me much. Well, why doesn't he like me? Because I declared war, because I usurped a title, and he desires the kingdom of England. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're, n you're not gonna... Oh, and you're not at peace anyway. Whoops. Oh well. You will join me one of these days. You will. Oh, yes, you will. I don't suppose I can uh, declare war on you. Nope. Uh, I need to wait until uh, you are a Catholic. I mean, uh, uh, until uh, Norway puts itself back together again. Uh, what did we get? Uh, an offer to arrange marriage from... I don't think I want to do this, do I? When did your husband die? Oh, you're killed by rabble. That's right. Um, you're the king of Brittany, and I'm looking for uh, stealing your land. So, no. But I suppose I should marry you off to someone. Um, let's see. Matrilineal? Um... Old guy, how do you how do you feel about uh, marrying? Thank you. That works. Alrighty. I mean, I could have gotten uh, um, another ally, but uh, I, I do want to start getting territories down here. And they are Celtic, uh, Celtic group. So uh, 
All the Celtic groups are rightfully, uh, mine. They are, indeed, rightfully mine. Now, at this point, we're just gonna see what's gonna happen in the rest of the world. Uh, like I said, once I get this, uh, claim down here, then I'll head over here somewhere. Not sure exactly where. Probably start with one of these smaller territories. Um, maybe one with that already has uh, some decent uh, um, holdings. Okay, probably this one, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, it's got three holdings already. It can take two more. That's pretty good. Um, let's actually take a look at uh, what we can upgrade here. Um, castle fortifications aren't going to do me much good. Keeps would be nice. Barracks would be decent. Um, let's go to the next one. More cavalry would be nice. Oh, I need to build a lot of things here. Uh, let's see. I'll get more tax income. So let's go ahead and build the castle walls. And I'll also get uh, increased levy size. That's nice. Uh, let's see. Anything good here? Uh, I could get another longbow range. That's very expensive, though, so maybe not. Let's go for the barracks. Um, Increasing the size of my levy and garrison size would be nice. Let's do that. Alright, I think that'll be about it for now. Well, actually, let's uh, jump around a little bit just to see if there's anything else that I really should build. Like Castle Walls or Castle Town. Nope. I think we're good for now. Okay. Uh, you see, to fabricate a claim. That should be... Should have already been sent a... Yeah, okay. So we don't care that much about that. Alright. I'm surprised that I haven't gotten any uh, uh, events to improve my martial ability yet. When are you going to come of age? April, th on April 30th, so just a smidge over a year to go. Okay. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. How about a uh, retinue size? 37, 49. I could get another... Uh, Cavalry unit. That would completely fill up my uh, current size. Yeah, I can definitely afford that. Let's do that. Alright, head over there. So I will now have a uh, retinue of 3,500 once that fills out. Although it'll take a few, take quite a while actually. Go ahead and join them together just so that they're all ready to be used. And yeah, not much uh, going on right now. Um, let's see, event wise, anything decent that I should do? Oh, 
I haven't done a summer fair in a while. It'll cost me some money, but let's go ahead and do that. Well, that should make the peasants happy. Let's see if anything pops up with that. Anything interesting. Probably not. But uh, I can hope. I can hope. So Denmark is uh, occupying that. How is your war going? Uh, I am sure Duke All the Second is not a heretic. I am really sure he is not a heretic. I don't want. To, I don't want to piss him off. Uh, let's see. Ooh, De uh, Denmark is uh, really coming along there. Its ragged fur and sorrowful, sorrowful eyes made the bear look pitiful. But when its trainer started playing his flute. The bear started dancing. The dancing bear and his trainer traveled from fair to fair, and this year they came to the summer fair in Gwyneth. I wonder how he does that. Uh, Ellen's opinion w will improve. Uh, keep him on a short leash. If he does anything, I would gain suspicious. Give me plus one intrigue for uh, uh, just a few months. Training a bear can't be too hard. Ellen won't like me. Um, well, I guess we'll just uh, go with uh, Ellen liking me, whoever the hell Ellen is. <laughs> uh, Sverker of Norse Uprising has declared Welsh Norse Revolt on King Hall the Third. Well, Welsh Norse Revolt, yes. Yes, a Welsh Norse Revolt. Uh, well, let's see. Um, well. Norse rebels have risen up in Chester, led by a militant goatee. If not swiftly crushed, this revolt could spread like wildfire. Accursed infidels! Ooh, that is quite a few. Um, well... I don't think this will cost me, uh, um... Vassal levy penalties. Uh, let's see... Let's go ahead and raise up everyone since I can there. You two come up there. Uh, no, you guys are going awfully close to them. Let's do that. Let's join up there. Oh, look! 15 guys! That's that's so fantastic that you sent 15 guys over there. Alrighty. Oh. Oh, jeez, you're already moving. The tenth. Alright, let's see. 98. Go ahead and disband you. Alright, you should get down there first, so that's good. Yep, you stopped. Okay. Got 6,000. Once all of these guys here come in. Hey, it's good that we still have our fair going on. The peddlers are loading their wares and the merchants are taking down their stalls. Jugglers strolling, blah, 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 blah. Summer fair is over this year. That that did not get me much. It really did not get me much. I am, I am very disappointed by that summer fair. All right, come on, guys. Join up. Join up. Uh, let's see. They took 2.5 losses, we took 5% losses, and 10% morale. That's not good. But luckily we've got a uh, nice big army coming in. Alright. You guys come up, go up there, go ahead and just do that to join in. And all of the rest of you also just head there. Thank you. Where are you going? Um, 14th, 16th. Oh, that's not good. Alright. Ooh, I haven't seen this before. Widespread rumors say that Pope Marinus leads a most wicked lifestyle, quite unsuitable for any priest, and even more so 
for one in his, in his exalted position. We must pray for his eternal soul. So, so did his uh, son wash up in the in the river while Martin Luther was there? No. We must pray for his eternal soul. Uh, didn't get me anything. Um. Let's go to the end of uh, August. See if uh up oh, up. Oh. Let's see, nineteenth, twenty first. All right, I am gonna have to just keep doing this until someone else is about to uh, get into his territory. Until that. Come on, stop moving. Stop moving. Oops, I had that paused. Uh, where are you going? Stop it. You know what, let's actually... Merge you guys together. That'll slow you down a little bit. That's okay. Going to Lancaster. That's not good. I don't want you going to Lancaster. Okay, good. Should get there first. Okay. So, we've just engaged in combat there. Everyone else will come in very shortly. And uh, we'll see the results of that in the next episode. Uh, let me just go ahead and clear out these messages. Jeez. Thank you for that. Oh, good. That, uh, that faction disbanded. All right. So in the next episode, we'll see uh, the results of this uprising. Damn Welsh Nor Norse Welsh, Welsh Norse whatever, guys. Ah, curse you. See you next time.